Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. This is Taja Cadence and here's the seafood news for the week of April 6th, 2020. In this week's episode, we provide a COVID-19 update on key species and reveal our findings on what consumers are purchasing right now. As economic activity for most industries has come to a grinding halt due to COVID-19 and amidst dine-in restaurant closures and food production restraints, the food industry is still significantly active at the consumer level and it's up to food producers to improvise, adapt, and overcome. During these trying times, consumers have limited options for sustenance, ranging from home-cooked meals to retail, online shopping, takeout, and delivery. While we all know in North America, most of the restaurants and bars are closed, the majority of people are still doing takeout and deliveries, making food service still a viable and essential business. In a bid to stimulate the economy, some policymakers are even in talks about offering financial assistance programs to help businesses get their employees back to work, where restaurants are primed for the course with takeout services. Let us not forget that it is still Lent. In the same way certain cultures will still be buying and consuming halal or kosher products during this time, consumers are not going to start eating other proteins versus fish during Lent, especially when fish can still be sourced. So what are some of the seafood items we've been selling in this market right now? Wild and farm salmon is in high demand. Salmon is selling and there is a lot of repeat business on salmon. Over the past two weeks, we have seen the market open up for more h and sockeye, where some vendors and processors were actually cleaned out, which has resulted in upward pressure on pricing. For chum salmon, brights are drying up fast. Buyers will be hard pressed to pin down any large volumes of four pound plus bright chums. And again, prices are trending back up. At the same time, we are also seeing halibut fletches and once frozen Alaskan Pacific cod selling as well. For halibut, it's been a rocky start for the 2020 Pacific halibut fishery due to COVID-19, where there is a lack of fresh sales and unstable ground prices. As of April 1st, only 3% of the fishery limits, or 837,000 pounds, have been landed compared to this time last year where about 1.6 million pounds had been harvested. For Pacific cod, prices are stable and the fishing is good as we are sitting at about 50% of Alaska's quota harvested, translating to about 79,000 metric tons of harvest of the 162,000 metric ton TAC. Based off documents from the Federal Register of the final 2021 TAC for Alaska Pacific Cod, we will be going down to 112,859 metric tons. In the value added division, sockeye portions and fillets are moving, with portions going to private label and retail bags. Canners in Alaska we talked to specifically have seen their sales of canned pinks go through the roof due to the mad rush to stock up at grocery stores. With the expectation for lower pink runs in Alaska and Russia in 2020, this will be segment to keep an eye on, as there is also a large USA government contract for over 570,000 pounds of canned Alaska pink salmon that is to be fulfilled between March to June of 2020. With all this demand on salmon, keep tuned for our 3MMI for further updates, especially as decision makers develop plans surrounding the upcoming 2020 Alaskan salmon fishery where their primary focus is to keep the public and the industry safe, preventing further spread of COVID-19. Our recommendation is to get a purchasing plan in order. Supermarkets should order a little more than they think they need in case there is a temporary supply disruption in the following week. Keep adjusting your orders to try and have a little more just in case. The same advice goes for food service restaurants. Take advantage of every sales opportunity. Now is not the time to run out of product. Our experts at Tradex Foods can help you manage your inventory so you are covered without having to take all into stock at once. We will work with you to maximize gains while minimizing your exposure to any market volatility. Contact us today. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.